Well, in my opinion, it is important to acknowledge the significance of this day, not only for its impact on our nation's political landscape, but also for the consequences it had on our sovereignty and economic independence. However, it is also crucial to understand that the protests that led to President Gotabe Rajapaksa's resignation were not simply a spontaneous expression of public discontent. Now, we know with the information coming to light that, in fact, there were calculated efforts by several groups who anyway had their eye on disrupting this nation's course and used the real suffering of the people in order to further their agendas. These so-called protesters, driven by their own selfish motives, played a dangerous role in destabilizing our country. Their actions not only undermined the democratic process, but also put our nation's sovereignty at risk. Now we know that they were mere pawns in a bigger geopolitical game, manipulated by foreign forces who sought to influence our national policies in a manner that benefits them. However, it is also essential to hold President Gotabe Rajapaksa accountable for his inaction during this critical period. While the protesters were busy stirring chaos and causing unrest, the president failed to take decisive action to address the issues that were plaguing our nation. He, in fact, chose to remain barricaded, surrounded by thousands of military and police personnel for his protection when the protesters were at his doorstep demanding action to alleviate suffering, a promise he made prior to coming to power. His lack of proactive measures allowed the situation to escalate, ultimately fleeing the country like a common criminal, spitting in the face of 6.9 million Sri Lankans who trusted him with their lives, completely dismantling the achievements of our heroic war heroes, the Sri Lankanism agenda, and more importantly, the Buddhist society. It is disappointing to witness a leader who, in fact, was the only individual thus far in this nation's history to win a presidential election, gaining the highest number of votes ever received by a single candidate who had the opportunity to steer our nation towards stability and prosperity, but instead chose to remain passive. Pro former President Gotabe Rajapaksa had the chance to implement reforms, not the wrong ones he implemented, also while addressing the concerns of the people and safeguarding our sovereignty. However, his failure to act promptly has cost us dearly. As we reflect upon this one year mark since his resignation, it is crucial to learn from the mistakes of the past. We must try for a more accountable and responsible leadership that prioritizes the interests of our nation above all else. Only by doing so can we regain our sovereignty and economic independence. So during the past year, many things occurred. The question we need to ask is whether those cascading events since July 9th, 2022, help this nation to be better off or are we still deep in the precipice?